Welcome to The Grasp. I'm Doug. Today we're going to talk about staking in detail. We'll walk you step by step through downloading and installing the Daedalus wallet and setting it up so that you can begin staking and make some moolah. We might be able to make a little moolah with it. All right, so we're going to start here at DaedalusWallet.io. We want to make sure we're dealing a legit site. So this was developed and supported by IOHK, so we're in the right place. We don't want people taking our money. So we're going to start here. We're going to go to our download page. When we click download, that takes us to our operating system launch page. So this is going to show us what are the available versions. So we have obviously a version here for Mac OS, we have one for Linux, and we have one for Windows. We are on a Mac, so we click download, and it begins the download process. My computer is much faster than yours because mine is powered by super monkey dust. And as you see, the download is complete. Click on our downloads. We want to double click for our install file. We're just going to take the defaults. Notice it's going to take over 600 megabytes of space on your computer. We're just going to take the defaults, enter our passcode. Bada bing, bada boom. It installs the files where they need to go. It's complete. Close. We can move it to trash. And notice down here we now have Daedalus installed on our dock. We click on it to do the install or the setup. And now it's going to verify and download the blockchain. For you mere mortals, this is going to take a while, but because I have the supercomputer with monkey dust, mine's instant. Okay, now we have the application downloaded and installed. As you can see up here, we are fully synced with the blockchain. And it shows us that there. So now we need to go and create a wallet. I'll just mention here that if by chance you happen to have a hardware wallet, like a ledger, uh, then you can pair that device with the Daedalus software here using this tab here. But we're going to go here and create a new wallet. This wallet will be a software wallet stored on your local computer. So we'll name the wallet. And then we will need to set a password. This is our spending password, which you will use anytime you are going to spend or move your coins. And click Create Wallet. It's about to give you a recovery phrase. This is important. It's a list of 24 random words, and you will need this to recover your wallet. You will never see this again, so do not lose this. We'll check that. And so here is our recovery phrase. And then you will want to write this down as it says right here. Make sure you write down this recovery phrase in this order, because this is the only thing you have to your coins. So let's do that and then we're going to click continue and now we've got to enter the words one by one so now that we've entered that our recovery phrase we need to check here you understand that this is the recovery phrase for your wallet so please do not lose it and you understand that the only way to recover the wallet is by using this phrase so as you can see it's very important that we keep it. We click confirm and move on and bada bing bada boom we have a wallet created. This wallet is now being synchronized within the blockchain. It takes a little time to do this so here's a also a note about this synchronization. Uh, when you first download this and create your new wallet you are downloading the entire blockchain and so this isn't going to be lickety split even with monkey dust like my computer has because you have to download the entire blockchain on your computer. So this takes some time, especially depending on your internet connection speed. 
Okay, now the wallet has fully synced up. You can see here we have our wallet name. We don't show any ADA in it because we haven't, it's a brand new wallet. We haven't added the ADA yet. Being poor sucks. So the first thing that we need to do is go over and click on receive. And you'll see here a long list of addresses. So this is for security and safety purposes. Um, and I'll just say this, you can use an address more than once, but they consider it a best practice that you use an address. And then once you use this top address here, it will gray out and that's encouraging you to use the next address the next time. But these addresses are generated automatically. And over here, you can see you're allowed to share this address so that you may receive ADA to this address. And as you see here, we have a long list of addresses. If I click on this address to share it, it's going to give me uh, the ability either to copy the address if I want to put it into a web browser or an exchange, uh, or you can use the code here on a mobile device. Okay, now you can see we have deposited ADA in there. You see up here at the top, it shows us how much we've got, 18 ADA. Uh, notice here, two transactions. We've learned a lesson here that uh, if we send 10 ADA in, you're, you're going to use one of them for the transaction to transit, and you have to have a minimum of 10 ADA to delegate. I can't afford that, unless... Do you take Visa? So that's why we had to do it twice. So as long as you've got 10 ADA in your wallet here, you'll be good. So we go over here to our... Uh, far left hand side you can see our delegation center tab and over here you'll see delegation center stake pools rewards and info here these are broken into epics right so every epic lasts five days we talked in a previous video about you getting your rewards every five days so there are two days and 19 hours left in this current epic now if we go down here and shows our wallet you can see right now we are undelegated it takes two epics for any changes in your delegation to take effect. So notice I move over here on the current epic, I'm not allowed to do anything. I go to the next epic, again, I'm not allowed to do anything, but if I go to the following epic, I can now delegate. And so it's gonna take us here and say, there's a small transaction fee in order to delegate. It's less than, a, less than one ADA. And so we want to delegate this wallet to a specific pool and confirm it. So this is the wallet we're choosing. We're gonna go and we are gonna delegate to Galt1. It says here we've selected Galt1 as our delegation for this wallet, continue. It is going to take a fee of 0.16 ADA for this transaction. And so we have to now enter our spending password. And now it is going to sync this information with the blockchain, so it will take a little time. And now you can see we have delegated. Notice here it takes a period of time for this to go through and sync with the blockchain, which it says here, tells you two epics, and then to actually start receiving rewards from your delegation takes another five days. So there is a period of time uh, that it's going to take to happen, but we are now delegated and we can come over here and you can see now I am delegated here and it'll take effect during Epic 304. Okay, you had a balance of 93 cents. All right. And at an average of two and a quarter percent interest over a period of 1,000 years, that comes to $4.3 billion. <laughs> so that's delegating in a nutshell, not too complicated. There is one other thing I would like to point out. It's not specifically related to delegating, but since we're talking about Daedalus Wallet here, we might as well go to it. Over here, Underneath our Delegation Center tab on the left-hand side, you'll see this is our Catalyst tab. So 
can, we're about decentralization, so it isn't just about earning money. The Catalyst Systems allows you to interact with the community, and this is where we vote on what projects are approved, what things are done inside the ecosystem. And so you can participate and be a uh, active part of the Cardano community and you do that through our catalyst here. So that's what this tab here is. We'll talk more about this in a separate video. Well, that's all there is to it. We tried to keep it as simple as possible, but if you have questions or comments, write, call, text, email, leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help our channel grow. We'll see you back here next time on The Grasp.